So here we go, first video. Doing a 4G63 engine block. With a little electrolysis cleaning. You can see the foam starting to build up. The positive is going to the steel plate on the bottom of the tank. The negative is on a mount on the block. This side you can actually really see it bubbling. It's working very well. Kind of stand up the light there. Looks like soup happening down inside the cylinders. This is about five minutes. It's been in there. And I have an intelligent battery charger. So when I tried to do this, it wouldn't see the connection. So what I have going on now is the battery out of the car, which is pretty well dead celled. Running that way to the tank. I left first time, a little scared. I had to leave a bunch of wiring. And then what I got going on here is the intelligent charger again. It's on an 8 amp charge. It'll read the connection with the battery, but it won't charge or it won't activate hooked directly to the block. I didn't really see what the difference was using the battery or not. But anyways, it's working now. So what I'm going to end up doing is flipping the block, putting it back in to be the other side. I'll try to get a video here to see it bubbling in the tank. You can actually hear it bubbling in the cylinders. So the crank's still in there. I took the main girdle off, put it back on. I didn't want to have to do the hassle of all that crap at the bottom. Figured it was so cruddied up anyways. It didn't work out, I just buy another one. I couldn't find anything specifically on the 4G63. Anyways, I'll uh, post the second half of this once I pull it out of the tank. Let's see what it looks like. Till then, peace!